You can use the include directive to include the text of a file into your web page. This allows you to standardize things. You can write a page element once and include it inside as many other web pages as you'd like. Here is a Java server page that is made up only of the body of the page. Both the header and the footer are in other files and are included as part of this file by the include directive. The header is what you would expect. This is a simple one. It includes the opening HTML tag, the head open and close, and the opening body tag. You could add anything you want in here. It just would be automatically added to the pages that use it. The standard footer in this example is even simpler. It just includes the closing tags. Here is the page as it is displayed. Now look at this. Here is the final form of the page. As you can see, the included files appear at the top and bottom just as if they had been written there. If you use it properly, this one utility can add a unity to your entire website and give it a standard look and feel. It's nice to be able to change something in one place and have it affect everything. Now here is a simple three-line web page. The fact is that this page will never even be seen. Whenever it's addressed by a browser, the forward action will cause another page to be the one sent to the browser, not this page. Here is the page that is the object of the forward command. It's the one that will actually be displayed, even though it may never be addressed directly by a browser. This is what happens when you display the page with a forward action defined in it. This is not the FWD page as requested. This is the catcher page. You normally would want to forward the user to another page this way on some sort of condition. For example, it may be that a page is available only to those who are logged into the system and the person attempting to view the page may not be logged in. A simple test and a forwarding action could switch them to a page making it possible for them to log in.